I think it's not a secret to nobody that I come from a big family. Yes. Uh, if, you, if you ask how, what is big, it's I have six uh, brothers and one sister. All of us, there's like nine of us, I think, right? Yeah, nine. <laughs> oh, math is not my subject, people. Anyways, but if you come from a big family, there's one thing you know you got to do is this thing called sharing. Everything you do, because there's many of you, and sometimes there's not enough of supply or whatever you guys have. So you got to share, especially when, uh, where I came. I came from Ukraine. We were poor. Uh, my dad was a missionary. My mom didn't work. So we kind of were barely surviving. So we shared everything, people. I'm talking about everything. One of the things we would share, we would even share gum. Yeah, I'm going to confess to you, y'all. Those were the dark days. I'm the second oldest, right? So my brother Eli, the one who led the prayer. We would go and return some, recycle some metal or glass bottles and get some little cash and go buy a gum. And it would start from the top. <laughs> Ilya would chew. And then it will roll down the hill. I would grab it, chew it for a couple hours, you know what I'm saying? Taste goes away, you know, the Martin comes there. <laughs> so, but you know, taste is gone, so we'll make a, we'll take a jar, mix some Kool-Aid, throw a pop in, uh, throw a gum in there, put it in the fridge, in a couple hours, Martin takes out and pops it, like it never happened, come on. But anyways, you share everything. One of the other things we shared is clothes. There's six dudes, all of them pretty much the same size, so you buy one thing, everybody wears it. There's no such thing as getting your shine on. Whoever buys it, wears it first. That's the rule, though. You know, and it's, I always, I never liked the whole thing, sharing the clothes. So at the age of like 14, I think I put that to rest. And just last thing I bought, I think, was like I went to Walmart and got myself um, 25 white V-necks. I think I wear them <laughs> still <laughs> till this day. I think I got like five now. <laughs> But anyways, I remember one thing that I figured one thing really quick. It's easy to give something that you don't own. I remember a friend of mine came to me and he really struggled and just came out of prison, didn't have a job. And he's like, dude, I need clothes. Like, let's go to my house. I opened my closet. There was a lot of clothes. I'm like, bro, pick out whatever you need. He's like, wow, dude, you're so generous. I'm like, well, there's more where that came from. <laughs> but it was easy because 90% of those clothes were not mine, were my brothers. <laughs> and it was easy for me to give those clothes. I'm like, bro, you take it. We took the garbage bag and he packed that thing and he's like, like Santa out of chimney. He went. But anyways, what I'm trying to say, a lot of times we come to church and we clinched those money, the poor Benjamin or Washington. Because we, we have some, this idea that everything that we have in our life is ours. We work hard. We wake up. We go to school. We study. Everything that we have is ours. But I like to us this evening to think about this idea that everything that we have in our lives, money, house, Everything that we own is actually God's. That we are actually just people that steward. We people we manage. I read this scripture. If you slow me that you can put the scripture up. That really changed the way I look at the money. It's in the Bible, people. Let's read this. Be careful. Do not say in your heart, my power and strong hand have made me rich. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to become rich wow when I read that I was like that's so cool that kind of showed me the perspective that everything I have in my life it's not mine God gives me power God gives me to wake up in the morning go to work God gives me brains to study the book God gives me his ideas inventions everything I have in my life it's his and I have to be faithful stewardship that means the Bible says bring your offerings and tithes to you, house of God that means yeah Okay, those are not mine. Those are God's money. And what I do, I bring that. I'm being faithful. And when God sees that, that you manage his money, he gives you more. The more you give, the more he God gives. Money don't stick to your hand. That means the money can flow through your hand. That means you're not like the river or the 
puddle where just everything stays and becomes stinky. But you the like the river that everything flows. The more you give, the more God can give. So I encourage you today. Look and be careful how you view your money. Don't be so stingy, clingy, holding on to every last penny. Look at the yourself as a stewardship like that God bless you and be generous give money help people give to the church amen if you be faithful you know it's a nice thing when you don't manage when you manage somebody else's stuff that means they will have to take care of you that means God will protect you God will bless you with the jobs God will bless you with promotions if you be faithful and stewarding the money and the thing that God gave you